What's going on guys? It's your boy Asesso here, bringing you guys another top three designs of the week, week number 10. As always guys, first thing in the description is where you guys submit, so please go ahead and submit for top three designs of the week, week number 11, which should actually be the first upload of the year, 2017, so that means of course today is the actual last 2016 upload for top three, so let's like freaking break the like button, let's hit like 250 likes, first 24 hours, can we freaking do it, which will also help everyone in this video here today as well. So, and this kind of like a little follow up, so uh, basically, hopefully you guys like enjoy all the winners, make sure you guys follow all the winners, and of course make sure you guys treat all the winners with respect and make sure you just like treat all the winners that you would like to be treated if you guys are winning yourself so let me support them all that cool stuff and I know you guys will like it and I just like yeah I hope you guys enjoy it. and let me know in the comment section below who was your favorite where would you place people and uh, yeah make sure you guys submit you have nothing to lose whatsoever later guys all right guys top three designs of the week week number 10 number three spot goes to the social media designer known as enticed this dude is 16 years old and he sent in a really cool triumph twitter header design uh he has this really cool i guess you can say roman theme going on here i believe like i'm not sure if that's a caesar statue on my top right however i'm just i'm not i don't know my caesar statues bro and like i just feel like that's what i get right it's really cool like epic theme right so he has this really cool selective coloring color correction where i kind of have this like really ominous blue going around like i love the atmosphere and he has these selective colorings on the roses with the red that just pops out so freaking well i love it like it just gives focus to where you need to put focus on the actual name of the actual person and then the social media designs have that little one red rose kind of just kind of point your eyes in the right direction i love it i love what you did there the depth of field is awesome as well with the vines you, know, you kind of have like a blurred out version of the vines you know uh, on the top, bottom right and then you kind of have it it's kind of like you're peeking through like this little forest and it looks really awesome you have like the vines also like going in the text itself freaking awesome you have your awesome portfolio as well uh, this yo what's with the word awesome right now um yes <laughs> you have a really good portfolio where it's a whole bunch of color i love color i love like you know these dark schemes with really vibrant colors going on it just pops i love it so freaking much you have a really really good like skill on like rendering and like really i guess you can say formulating your backgrounds or your header designs and it's just it's freaking awesome you guys should definitely go find them on twitter uh twitter.com slash entice be like yo you won seso's top three yada 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 all that cool stuff and then we're gonna go ahead and move on this next one so yeah go ahead and follow, uh, follow him all right guys top three designs of the week week number 10 at number two spot go see social media designer slash advertisement designer known as jora i believe i'm saying that right if i'm not whoops um this dude is also 16 years old and he sends in a really cool g fuel tub advertisement design for red uh kiwi and strawberry yeah there we go um so yeah i love the actual atmosphere of this actual design you have a really cool almost like i feel like there's a lot of light coming from the actual middle and not like a focus light going on like the top you know how people do that as well and then you have this really awesome like kind of floored uh red obviously in green floor with like a cool little mountainous kind of theme I, I, that's how, what i get from it um so yeah also the kiwis are like the blurred out kiwis and then like the strawberries kind of show depth of field as well kind of like the actual uh fruits are kind of like rotating around the tub i love it i really really do i also really really love the gradient you use on the actual g fuel logo super freaking fresh and your portfolio is just chock filled with something it's something really weird for me right so it's like a 2d kind of portfolio um also with your social medias at least and it's just like a really cool like I don't know how to say it. it just looks 3d i don't know if like some of these renders are 3d but you have this really clean and sharp really sharp designs that's kind of how i'm gonna like point you know pinpoint it right there's like really sharp designs it looks really freaking pretty i love your colors i love your the way you like place light around your social media designs you're a freaking beast 100 percent. and i also the crude one looks really i love the drop shadow bro i was really like you know i was really impressed with the drop shadow action on the actual header design freaking awesome hella like you you know bro you hella deserve second place and his Twitter is twitter.com slash jrush or jrism, right? Yeah, you guys see it right on the bottom. Make sure you guys go ahead and uh, give him a follow as well and be like, yo, bro, you actually won Seso's top three and yada, yada, yada. You already know the whole deal. Why don't I say that again? Anyway, we're going to move on to number one spot. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, guys, top three designs of the week, week number 10, number one spot goes to the 3D modeler known as Stegen or Lands. I believe I'm saying that right. This dude is 18 years old, and he sent in this, like, almost, like, spaceship rotating kind of crazy, like, awesome, like, Octane render or V-Ray render. I'm not really sure which one. Modeled, fully modeled in Cinema 4D, and then, like, obviously, post-work, of course, in Photoshop. So, this dude is so freaking creative like it's so awesome his attention to detail and his renders are like super beautiful and now octane render and v-ray rendering uh you know there's something that just makes your renders look very very pretty but the settings like the overall attention to detail and what your actual model has to be clutch and the craziest thing about this dude is on his portfolio, which is actually Instagram, instagram.com slash season or lands. This dude uploads renders daily for I believe he's like on day like 200 or something like that. 
oh my god, like, are you kidding me? Like, I, I know Octane Render, stuff like that is, like, very, very hard on your PC and stuff like that. Overall, the actual creating creative, de like, designs, um... Are you kidding? Like, dude, are you, come on. It's so, it's so beautiful. Like I, like I said, I love the attention to detail. I love his lighting effects that he does in post. It's just super freaking pretty. He has this, like, uh, like kind of like a signature almost, where, like, this actual little glowing guy is, like, sitting down, almost in, like, a lot of his actual renders, which is also really, really cool. I don't know if it's, like, your signature or you just do that for a reason that I have no clue about. However, I was a very, very big fan of his Instagram. If you guys, I, honestly, you guys gotta check it out really quickly. Like some of his stuff. Like, it's really freaking awesome. If you go scroll down, I know you'll find, like, a lot. You'll be like, yo, I can use this for, like, a freaking background or something like that, because it's so beautiful. Beautiful attention to detail, like I said already. Like, this dude deserves number one spot, hands down. Down, and you guys should really go ahead and check him out as well. Like I said, Instagram.com slash uh, Stegen or Lands. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so yeah, that is top three designs of the week. Week number 10. That's a really beautiful number, by the way. 10. Are you kidding me? So um, yeah, overall, I think you guys should, of course, go subscribe, like, whatever, follow, um, all that cool stuff on everyone's you actually guys saw portfolios today, their you know, Twitters and whatnot. Go freaking tell them that they won and then just give them support. Let's go. Can we like shoot for like 250 likes? It's like this is the last. To, uh, uh, top three before the actual new year. So can we just like hit 250 likes? That'd be freaking awesome for them, for me, for us. And I need you guys to obviously submit. You guys know already. Top three designs of the week. Week number 11 is now live. The link to submit is on the top of the description. It says submit here. And then right below that is the spotlight winner. So please, please go submit. There's nothing to lose whatsoever. In 2017, I am sure this series is going to stay freaking relevant. Super, oh, like super awesome. So please go ahead and submit. I really hope you guys enjoy your uh, weekend, your holidays. Um, all that cool stuff, and I well, what is New Year's? New Year's is like in like four days, bro. That's close. Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys are safe, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Talk to you guys later. Sussway HQ out. Peace. Stay positive. Keep smiling, and stay productive. Later.